In the wake of our last video, we delve deeper into our narrative, where a pivotal weekend was on the horizon. The kids were off on their own adventures, leaving the protagonist and his wife Elizabeth to their devices. Picture the protagonist, his mind abuzz with plans for the weekend, only to be met with Elizabeth's ambivalence. Frustration began to seep in, his plans put on hold, waiting for Elizabeth's elusive decision. But then, a friend's advice sparked a change. The protagonist decided to put himself first, to plan his weekend independently, inviting Elizabeth to join if she wished. And so he did. He embraced his desires, spent time with friends, and lived the weekend on his terms. To his surprise, Elizabeth joined him on several occasions, and by the end of the weekend, she was glowing with enjoyment, expressing her wish for the weekend to never end. And so, that memorable weekend came to a close, leaving a lasting impression and a valuable lesson. Following this personal revelation, a unique challenge was posed to my Nice Guys Finish Wise men's group. The proposition? To put themselves first for an entire week, a concept foreign to many of the men. The mere thought of prioritizing their own needs over others filled the room with palpable tension, a cocktail of anticipation and anxiety. The challenge, however, was not to simply prioritize themselves. The real task was to face the discomfort that often accompanies stepping outside of our comfort zone, confronting our fears, and doing what we feel is right for us, even if it's not what others may want or expect. But despite the unease, every single man in that room bravely accepted the challenge. They were ready to endure the discomfort, to face the fear, and to put themselves first. And with that, our brave group of men embarked on a week that would challenge their perspectives and transform their lives. Among our group, the experiences of Lars and Reese stood out as particularly enlightening. Lars, once an active man, had let the demands of life overshadow his physical health. He decided to reclaim his time by prioritizing his workouts. Despite initial resistance and guilt, Lars persevered. The result? Not only did he feel more energized and optimistic, but he also inspired his wife to take better care of herself. Then there's Reese. Joining our group after a tough breakup, Reese was the only gay man among us. Initially uncomfortable, he soon found acceptance and began forming non-sexual relationships with the other men in the group. His unique perspective and experiences added a new dimension to our discussions, reminding us that the journey toward self-improvement transcends boundaries of sexuality. These stories of self-discovery and personal growth have just begun. The journey for Lars, Reese, and our group continues.